Hello everyone. It's a real pleasure for me to welcome you on behalf of the whole MAPRA professional team to this masterclass. And we hope that you are well. Let me introduce myself. I am Paula Andrews, sales manager for the UK and Ireland. And today we are going to speak about a very specific topic to learn how to protect your sensitive electronic devices against electrostatic discharge, ESD. And we will address the following topics. What is ESD? Gain insight into the standards on electrostatic properties for protective gloves. And how can MAPRA professionals' expertise help you prevent ESD risks? Now, this masterclass has been recorded in French, but we have dubbed it in English. But please note that the entire MAPRA team is connected live to this masterclass, so you can ask all your questions live on the chat and we'd be very happy to send you samples that you find of interest. So thank you for your attention. We hope you enjoy the content and learn something new. Hello everyone and welcome to our first MAPRA Professional Masterclass on the protection of your hands at work. I am Hélène Brunard Fougenis, Marketing Manager at MAPRA Professional. Today we are discussing the protection of your sensitive electronic devices against electrostatic discharges. To address this subject, we are joined today by our expert Beatrice Dufresne who is an R&D engineer. In view of the coronavirus pandemic, I wish to make it clear that we are respecting the social distancing measures and are separated by a plexiglass screen, allowing us to take off our protective masks. Our masterclass is as follows, a 20-minute presentation followed by 10 minutes to answer any questions that you may have. On the right-hand side of your screen, there is a chat feature where you can post any questions you may have. These will be saved and we will try and answer them during our question and answer session. These are the three issues that we are going to discuss in specific terms. What is ESD? What are the standards concerning the electrostatic properties for protective gloves? And finally, how can the know-how of MAPA help you protect yourself against the risk of ESD? Let us now make a start on this subject. Here is Beatrice. Thank you for that introduction, Helene. Good morning, everyone. I'm very pleased to be here today. Let us start this master class with an introduction to the electrostatic phenomena and the associated risks. The abbreviation ESD stands for electrostatic discharge. How can these electrostatic discharges occur? When two materials enter into contact, an exchange of electrical charges takes place. The accumulation of these charges can generate electrostatic discharges. It is therefore important to use dissipative materials, which means materials that are capable of dissipating electrostatic charges. 
You will certainly have heard the term anti-static material before, but in this context, dissipative material is actually the correct phrase. Dissipative gloves are required in two key areas, places in which electronic devices are handled. In particular, electrostatic discharges can damage electronic components which is a problem for the manufacturer, or shorten their lifespan, which is a problem for the user. Examples of the respective industries include the electronics, automotive, and consumer product industries. ATEX zones, ATEX for explosive atmosphere, also require dissipative gloves. In these areas, the concentration of solvents or dust can cause a risk of explosion if the objects that have accumulated the static electricity suddenly discharge, forming a spark. Areas in which chemicals or powders are handled or with high dust levels are prone to this risk. An important thing to remember, in addition to the dissipative gloves, the operator must also wear the appropriate clothing and footwear so that they are earthed at all times. Let us now turn to the standards relating to electrostatic properties. In terms of the protection of electronic devices, there is no standard regarding gloves, and therefore no pictogram. In ATEX zones, the standard regarding the electrostatic properties of gloves is EN 16350, which was published in 2014. The measured property is vertical resistance according to the EN 1149-2 method, which must be lower than 10 to the 8th ohms. Gloves which fulfill this requirement can currently be labeled with the static electricity pictogram. This pictogram was introduced in the new ISO 21420 standard that was published in March 2020. ISO 21420 is the standard that replaces EN 420, the general standard on the requirement for gloves. Standard 16350 regarding ATEX gloves is very exacting. The test was carried out at 25% RH, which corresponds to a very dry atmosphere, and is not therefore very representative of the majority of situations in the workplace. The lower the humidity, the higher the electrical resistance of the material. Therefore, completing the test at low humidity is of lesser value. Taking a normal workplace atmosphere into account. On the one hand, therefore, we have a standard which only applies to the gloves used in ATEX zones. On the other hand, there is no standard for gloves that are used for handling the electronic devices. Working in ATEX zones or handling electronic components requires the same requirements of the gloves. It is necessary for them to be dissipative. This is why at MAPA, we decided to refer to EN16350 standard when evaluating the electrostatic properties of our gloves. A glove that complies with the EN16350 standard is certain to be suitable for handling electronic devices. Here's a picture of the equipment that we use in our laboratory to measure vertical resistance according to the EN1149-2 method. The test consists of placing a sample glove between two electrodes and applying a current of 100 volts between the two electrodes. The equipment measures the electric current to flow through the sample and derives the vertical resistance. There are other standards which address electrostatic properties, but they do not apply to gloves. For the clothing to be worn in ATEX zones, the respective standard is EN1149-5. Two testing methods are possible. Measuring the surface resistance according to EN1149-1 method and measuring the discharge time according to the EN1149-3 method. The pictogram for ATEX clothing features the static electricity symbol, including reference to the EN1149-5 standard. Gloves are not allowed 
allowed to feature the EN 1149-5 pictogram regarding clothing. The standard which relates to the protection of electronic devices is EN 61340-5-1, which was revised in 2016. Please note this standard relates to various equipment such as clothes, shoes, furniture, and tools present in the area of work, but it does not include gloves. Therefore, we are not able to make reference to the EN 61340-5-1 Dash five dash one standard as regards gloves. Moreover, the yellow EPA pictogram that was in the original version of the standard was removed as part of the revision in 27. Thank you, Beatrice, for that valuable information on ESD. As a reminder, Beatrice is working in the application laboratory at MAPA Professional. And now, our third and last question. How can the expertise of MAPA Professional help you protect yourself against the risk of ESD? In this respect, please let me present you with two gloves, which are the two of the latest MAPA innovations and called the Old Train 524 and Old Train 544. The Ultrain 524 is a polyurethane foam glove. The Ultrain 544 is a glove with a DMF-free nitrile foam coating and is also Ecotex certified and offers superior mechanical resistance according to the EN388 standard. These two gloves have been specifically developed to protect your electronic devices against electrostatic discharges according to the EN16350 standard. This eliminates all risks of damaging the handle parts. These two gloves are ideal for completing precise and repetitive tasks in which dexterity, comfort and durability are required. They both offer a high level of breathability, a secondary effect on the skin for even greater suppleness and flexibility, and this is of importance when handling small parts. They can also be used with touch-operated devices. The first Ultrain 524 glove has touch sensitivity on the thumb and forefinger, and the second Ultrain 544 glove is a fully touch-sensitive version for the whole hand. They are light coloured to allow the easy identification of dirt. And these gloves are naturally available in different sizes from size 6 through to size 11. They are also silicon free and washable at 40 degrees. Ultrain 524 and 544 have been developed to fulfil the requirements of several industries, such as the electronics industry, automotive industry and subcontracting, aeronautics industry, white appliance manufacturing and the rail industry. They have been designed for the following areas of work in particular, the handling of electronic components, assembly and quality control. Let's get started with our question and answer session. I can see that we have received several questions. Please do not hesitate to send us your questions. We still have time to answer them. To answer the current questions, allow me to invite Anne Simon, our International Marketing Director, to join us on the stage. Hi Anne. Take a seat. The first question we received is quite a general question. Question 1. I know about the gloves from MAPA for general use, but do you make other products especially for professional users? Thank you for your question. MAPA is, of course, well known for its gloves for general use, but we also have a long history in the professional field, with a considerable number of industrial businesses having entrusted us with protecting their employees and their processes. We actually made the first nitrile knitted glove, which was launched in 1970. We now have a varied range of products to respond to various risks, cutting, chemicals and also thermal. Each year, we also launch several innovations, including our our ESD gloves this year to continue to enhance our offering and best fulfil our customers' requirements. Question 2. Is it only really necessary for the parts of the glove that come into contact with the electronic components to be anti-static or dissipative? Beatrice, perhaps you can answer that question. It is necessary for the gloves as a whole to be dissipative, i.e. the part with the coating on the palm and the fingers, as well as the textile part on the back of the hand and wrist, in order to ensure the electrical 
continuity. Question three, a new question from Michael R. I am interested in finding out about your new products. Whom should I contact at MAPA so that I can get hold of samples during the pandemic in the interest of carrying out a set of industrial tests on the basis of your references? Anne? Maybe you have the answer. All of our teams are continuing to work during these challenging times. We are certainly able to send you samples that you can take a look at and which are appropriate for testing. At the same time, our sales representatives are also able to organise product presentations and virtual training sessions. To contact us, please call us or contact us by email. Our contact information will be shown at the end of this session or send us your inquiry via our website, mapper-pro.com. Thank you, Anne. Um, here is a question from Didier G. Today you showed us your two gloves which provide personal protection against ESD. Do you measure the electrostatic properties of your other gloves as well? Beatrice, can you answer? Yes, of course. As I said earlier, our laboratory has the necessary equipment to enable the measurement of the electrostatic properties. Apart from the Ultrain 524 and 544 gloves mentioned today, we also have data on gloves from different product ranges. This information is available on our technical data sheets, which you can find on our website. Thank you, Beatrice. I also have a question for you, Anne. Can you tell us how much your gloves cost? We are glove manufacturers and our access to the market is through our network of specialist or general distributors. I invite you to contact your usual distributor or to consult our website mapper-pro.com to find your closest distributor. Question 6. I feel confused by the different pictograms. I believe what you say, but other gloves claim that they are ESD with other pictograms. Whom should I believe? It isn't that complicated. Standards apply to the electrostatic properties of different forms of PPE, be it gloves, clothing, or footwear. All you have to do is find the respective form of PPE and apply the appropriate standard. There is only one standard concerning electrostatic properties for gloves, which is EN 16350. Please allow me to remind you of the importance of standards. In addition, it is in the DNA of MAPA Professional to rely on standard-based tests to develop all our gloves and to therefore ensure the best protection for workers' hands. Thank you, Anne, and thank you, Beatrice. Our time is now up. We will answer questions that we weren't able to respond to by email within 48 hours. But in conclusion, all of our documentation is available on our website, mapper-pro.com. There you will find technical data sheets, commercial documentation and declarations of conformity. You can also find a replay of this masterclass. I also invite you to follow us on our LinkedIn page. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us via the email address shown on our screen. Thank you for joining us in such a great number today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care and see you soon. We've all experienced hair that sticks out of our head when we rub a balloon. 
a sparkle when you put on or remove some clothes. This phenomenon is called electrostatic discharge, or commonly known as ESD. When walking on carpet with plastic sole shoes, negative electrical charges are picked up and spread on the entire surface of the object. If in contact with another conductive body, a discharge can occur. Depending on the number of volts involved, you might be able to feel or see a sparkle. In some critical production environments, electrostatic discharges can damage or weaken sensitive electronic devices. Some damages can be seen clearly, but most of them are invisible to the naked eye and can only be detected under a microscope. That's why wearing the right PPE and quality control are essential. Wearing ESD gloves alone is not enough. Workers must wear suitable dissipative clothing and footwear as well as a grounding wrist strap to be permanently earthed. Having the right glove is then essential. MAPA Professional presents its high qualitative ESD gloves. The Ultrain 524 and the Ultrain 544. These gloves were specifically manufactured from specific conductive yarn and coating that dissipate electrostatic charges. They protect sensitive electronic devices and also provide protection against dust and particle contamination. Our ESD gloves are compatible with touch screens. Workers can operate with industrial screens without doffing the glove. It's time-saving and the security is reinforced. In ESD environments, dexterity is a prerequisite to handle electronic components. Here, thanks to the thin liner and coating, users will barely feel the gloves as they provide high comfort and breathability. Also, they are washable one time at 40 degrees to extend service life. They are both silicone free. Ultrain 544 is DMF free and OECO Tech certified. As until now there is no standard requirements for ESD gloves, we at MAPA Professional decided to refer to the very stringent ATEC standard EN 16350 to evaluate the dissipative properties of our gloves. If gloves comply to this standard, then they will be suitable for handling electronic devices. Ultrain 524 and Ultrain 544 MAPA Professional Gloves, designed to suit your needs for handling ESD-sensitive devices.